Hey, I've been doing creative jobs for over 20 years. One thing that keeps me going is needing to constantly learn and upgrade my skills. I love learning fresh stuff. That's why I lean more to digital stuff because it seems to advance a little faster than some of the other practices. This past holiday, I decided to upgrade my video skills. I'd been primarily focusing on still photography and my skills were pretty rusty. So I committed to a daily goal to shoot, edit, and publish a story in vlog format every day for seven days, no matter how rough, no matter how unfinished, as a method for learning new video skills. These constraints allowed me to have some time pressure to work with and have a sense of urgency, allowing me to set perfection to the side and get things done in the time allotted. Each night I'd upload my work to social media to get some feedback. Now I know this concept horrifies a lot of my friends in the creative industry. I have friends that are obsessed with pixel perfection in their final work and are only going to show you the final piece and none of the process used in creating it. Anything less than perfect would be subject to total judgment. And guess what? Turning out crap, half-baked footage turned out to be the best thing for my learning. After my first video posted, my oldest son came to me and said, you know, dad, your video looks weird. You're looking past the camera. You're not addressing it directly. Probably change that up. So I took the feedback and by the second video, I was addressing the lens with enough time to keep shooting new footage. That incremental feedback was early enough for me to do something about it before having that impact all seven videos I was doing. It's a scary thing, but guess what? You are not your work. I realized that in a society fueled by dopamine driven likes that a poor reception or worse yet being totally ignored has impact. But your value as an artist transcends beyond the final frame that's hanging in a gallery. If the only thing you share is finished work, then you're missing out on half the artistic experience. And that's interacting, sharing, and incorporating the process of others through discovery and interaction. Historically, artists have been super secretive about the process used to complete their final work. But that doesn't cut it today. Think of the successful creatives that we celebrate online. I think you'll find their common trait is that they openly share their process and engage their community and remix their process with that of others. A lot more of this process is shared in a book called Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. I recently listened to a podcast that had Austin speak about Show Your Work and his other book, Steal Like an Artist. He talked about how his experiments sharing his open process and work resulted in not only opportunities for being noticed, but collaboration and patronage as well. I didn't have Austin's book handy and the local library didn't have it as well. So I downloaded a mobile app called Hoopla, which most libraries subscribe to, which allowed me to get a digital copy right on demand. Allowing myself the freedom to fail by posting half-baked work over the holidays gave my learning a huge boost. I was able to incorporate feedback from much more experienced filmmakers daily and put their advice to use in each subsequent video. Did I become an expert filmmaker? No but I did see some huge improvements, and I think faster than I would have achieved on my own. I wonder how many other creatives are stuck in a rut because they just can't get past that idea of sharing incomplete work. How many opportunities for feedback, learning, and growth are missed due to fear and isolation? Yeah, I made crappy work, but it felt good just to make stuff, to iterate and try new things, and that was the point after all, to be okay with crap work with your name attached to it. Now a little disclaimer, I'm talking about sharing rough, incomplete, and sometimes downright god-awful work. And if you're collecting work for an online portfolio or for a pitch deck or for your commercial website, probably don't take this advice to heart. You probably want to keep your best foot forward for that purpose. So what do you think? Are you okay trying something new and not being an expert right out of the gate? Are you brave enough to share your rough outlines, concept drawings, or scratch vocals with us? Who knows, maybe someone out there is remixing a killer beat, looking for a vocal, or wishing their new clothing line had an awesome brand identity. If all we did is share finished work, opportunities for collaboration would just float on by, too late to do anything about. As for me, I'm gonna keep working on my video skills, especially audio. It's the weakest link in my game right now. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next video.